Hi there and welcome to the solar update for May 2023. So have we beaten May 2022? But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So the month of May brought 735 kilowatt hours of system production. Uh, and it wasn't a bad month. Most of them were, well, around the kind of 20, 25 kilowatt hour days except for a few days there right in the middle of the month you can see there that was the worst day of the month five kilowatt hours on the 12th of may and then the following day wasn't great at seven kilowatt hours either and the rest of the month was pretty good but the last two days weren't great either when we had 12 and 11 at the uh, end of the month the average for the month per day was 23.7 kilowatt hours so that was pretty good So how does that compare with last year's figure? Well, it's very, very similar. If you look at the green one for this year on the 735, I thought we were going to beat it actually, beat last month, but we didn't. It was actually 738. So there was only kind of three kilowatt hours difference between the two months or two, between the two years. So I th actually thought that things were getting worse based on last uh, month. So if you look at April, in April 2020, 22 it was 730 and we I went down to 679 I thought oh god maybe the panels are getting worse year on year but it was actually just weather um, so it's good to see that the uh, the May month is nearly on par with what it was last year and I'll have to see next month what happens with June whether we can get up to the sort of 783 that we got last year as well so how did we use all of this system production well in May this is the hypervolt uh, dashboard the EV charger been using this less and less uh, lately really um, as we've been charging the car somewhere else and not completely overnight at home every night on go but may was only used for solar uh, charging mainly of my ev and i used well i managed to put in the cars um, or mainly my car 80 kilowatt hours for the month of may and that was all solar uh, generated Whereas other months have been a mixture of solar and mainly kind of as you get to the winter uh, overnight charge on go. So way well, well down from the April 220 kilowatt hours uh, now at 80 kilowatt hours there in May. Next up we have the My Energy Eddy. So this time of year I basically turned off the gas boiler so there's no heating of the water or uh, heating in the house. So this is where the eddy has taken up heating up the hot water via solar. And as you can see, for the month of May, the eddy uh, managed to get hold of 163 kilowatt hours. Most of that, I would say, was from solar. Just one or two days when I did actually uh, boost it overnight on uh, cheap electricity. Uh, but most of these were during the day. I think the days when I didn't was that time there on the 13th as you remember the 12th and 13th were really bad solar days so the hot water didn't heat up uh, from the sun so i had to boost that a little bit overnight so as you can see there we had a little spike of a few kilowatts and then again i believe uh yeah somewhere at the end of the month i think no maybe not i think it was mainly just uh the middle of the month there when i did use a little bit overnight to boost it the rest has actually really come from uh, the sun so if we now have a look at how much electricity we've actually used for the month uh, you can see here in may uh, this is via the octopus energy dashboard we used 56 kilowatt hours and i'll break that down a little bit later into how much of that was go overnight and how much was the daytime rate uh, a lot lot less than last month's which was 143 obviously because uh, we're not charging the battery overnight like we were before and we're not charging um, the ev as much now either if you have a look at the month itself uh, for the use then there was a bit more use here 
on the 13th these this was the kind of middle of the month here where there wasn't much solar and i had to put a little bit in the battery and a bit in the hot water overnight but otherwise the rest of the days uh, especially the second half of may as you can see have been the consumption has been very low um, during the day and then i used a little bit more towards the end of the month when we did have some sort of cloudy days on the east side of the england um, yeah not great solar production towards the last couple of days of the month so when it comes to export this month in uh, may we actually exported 135 kilowatt hours uh, we actually exported more in april but i think that's because we went away for a week and didn't um obviously wasn't in the house so everything sort of went out the door after the battery was full so not too bad 135 kilowatt hours let's see what that looks like over the month uh, as you can see those two bad days there middle of the month we didn't really export anything uh, though it's been getting better and better towards the uh, end of the month where we've kind of been exporting on some days kind of 10 and 12 kilowatt hours this is mainly because the hot water has been full the battery's full and my car's been full um, and there was sort of nowhere else to put it after the sort of washing and the dishwasher and whatever else has been kind of used it just does have to go out the door and you can see there the last two days as well were really bad as i said before there was nothing coming out um, nothing exported on the last two days of may so this is the give energy cloud dashboard and obviously my give energy uh, products are the ac inverter and the eight kilowatt battery so this graph here really just shows for the month of may uh, how much battery we used uh, in the house as you can see here along the blue it kind of always sits along the five kilowatt hours so it didn't run out uh, on any of the days with it being an eight so there was always some sort of left uh, the next day and in the red you can see where the grid came into the house mainly on these couple of bad days here as i talked about in the middle of the month and a little bit towards the end of the month when it was a bad solar day as well if you look at the kind of battery uh, usage so the grid coming into the battery when it's been used or topped up again middle of the month really in the sort of end of the month and a little bit here um, the rest is where the solar has gone into the battery so you can see how many kilowatt hours have actually gone into the battery every day normally to sort of top it up and on average it's kind of been five to six kind of kilowatt hours uh, per day going in that battery to top it up so there's always been some sort of left um, the next morning after a the whole battery's been filled up and used in the evening so another piece of data that i normally look at is if the battery has fallen short during the evening or run out and we've gone back onto just importing full price grid uh, electricity this month hasn't happened um, we did use 1.94 kilowatt hours uh, between 8 p.m and 12 30 a.m uh, why those times mainly up to 12 30 because that's when the octopus go cheap rate starts again and i'd normally sort of be filling up the battery if i needed to um, but yeah nothing was recorded well not very much anyway between 8 p.m and 12 30 a.m for the whole month of may 1.94 kilowatt hours but that's really just i believe from the battery kind of ramping up and down being turned on and off not turned on and off being um, asked to provide electricity um and there's a sort of a delay on that sometimes so you do kind of import a tiny bit and at 40 pence a kilowatt hour we did spend 80 pence uh, on that uh, for the month of may right so if we now look at the actual numbers as billed by octopus energy for may 2023 uh, so for the grid import on the day rate we imported 9.44 kilowatt hours at 40 pence which came out to three pounds 79 uh, and then the night rate the octopus go rate we used 46 kilowatt hours at seven and a half pence which came out to three pound 51 so that would have been kind of partly charging the battery and a little bit of a boost to the water occasionally whereas the day rate would have been really where the sort of system is kind of ramping up and ramping down um, so that's where that £3.79 comes from. As I said, we exported 135 kilowatt hours during the month at 4.1 pence on uh, Octopus uh, outgoing on go. Uh, the lower rate at uh, £5.55. Uh, £5 
and the electric spend then overall was seven pound thirty for electric minus the export which was five pounds fifty five gives us a total use of electric or total bill of one pound seventy five for the month so that includes running the house heating the hot water and that 80 kilowatt hours of going into the ev as well so for the gas bill uh, that was basically we didn't use anything um, we're not using the heating at all the boiler has been turned off so for the whole month we use absolutely nothing and i just did a meter reading to check that and it was exactly the same as last month so that was good no gas to pay this month although unfortunately got to still pay the standing charge so to sum up nothing on the gas one pound 75 on the electric and if we include the standing charges the gas is 26 pence a day times 31 days for may gives us eight pounds 32 and the electric is 37 pence a day times 31 days gives us 11.67 so if we add the 175 on electric to the standing charge gives us 13.42 and the gas was nothing plus the standing charge gives us eight pounds 32 so in total for the month of may for our gas and electric we actually spent 21 pounds and 74 pence so overall may 2023 has been a pretty good month shame we couldn't quite beat last year's but it was very comparable very very similar uh, i'm glad it went as high as it did because i was worried that last uh, month in april that the sort of uh, panels were getting worse or something was going on uh, because it wasn't as good as april 2022 but i think it was just because of the weather really um, there's too many other variables going on just have to wait and see now about June. Uh, so look out for the video next month and I'll bring you June results. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course. And I'll see you next month for June's results.